Welcome, welcome, welcome back, you guys, to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. I hope you guys are all having a pleasant day and a pleasant week so far, and you know what day it is. Of course, it's the weekend, so we gotta do our Let's Plays. Um, it's been a couple days since the last episode, honestly, so I hope you guys all remember. But um, slower start to, I would say, the season. I keep wanting to call them a season, but they're not seasons, it's episodes, but this most recent um, episode, it's been a little bit slower so far, but we just left a uh, brothel, I believe it was. If, uh, I wanted to call it a booby bar, but uh, you know, brothel works too. Um, but we just left there and it seems like we encountered another familiar fable, the Little Mermaid, if you guys recall. <laughs> Which is really sad because, you know, the Little Mermaid is kind of one of my favorite, you know, princesses out there. So it's, you know, this is definitely not for the faint of heart. It's really cool to see the Let's Tell Tell Games uh, kind of take this approach on all these different fable tales. So very interesting stuff. A little bit slower, a little bit slower of a start, but uh, still really cool. Um, if you guys are just clicking into this channel for the very first time and this is one of your first episodes you're watching, thank you guys so much for clicking in. It really helps. And I hope you guys stay a while. And maybe just, you know, check out some of the other episodes we actually have here on the channel as well. Uh, I think you may also like those too. For those who are not new, again, your support is always appreciated. Thank you guys so much for your continued support and your continued uh, viewership. <laughs> I, it kind of came out wrong the first time because it's a mouthful to say, but you guys know what I mean. So let's go ahead and get this started. I hope you guys don't mind what I'm doing with my hair right now. It's uh, it's up and like a, a high, like a high bony cell. It's kind of cute, right? Bring it back. Bring back the high ponytail style. <laughs> um, so currently we are approaching the hotel room that Lily and Faith are both connected to. There's a there's somebody we need to find in room 207, if I remember. But... We got the Little Mermaid to give us a room key to 20 something. I forgot what it was, but... We should probably repair that. <laughs> this place doesn't... This isn't some upscale place, Big B. This is... This is... Or anything like the lobby? They should cut their rates. I mean... Where do you go for shady stuff, man? I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes I wish you could skip some of this dialogue. I mean, some of it just seems unnecessary. Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Yeah, it seems like he would. Beast is a proud man, Big B. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he. Yeah, knew I, I won't say anything. I don't care. So don't you should tell. You should tell Beast. I think I would. I won't say anything. He'd be mortified. Yeah, well, I agree. Your secret's safe with me. All right. Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Big B. And she just seems and like she's just trying to. For covering for me last time too. Yeah, she's just trying to help so, pay the bills. What are you doing here? And clearly the system's not helping anybody oh, out, so... you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Did you know Faith? Ever see Lily? Okay, this this one doesn't have like a timer. Those always kind of make me suspicious because it makes me seem like okay, this is gonna be kind of a pinnacle, can't go back, kind of kind of answer. With someone specific and that glamour, then maybe she'll be like, oh yeah, that was super weird. Have you seen Snow White down here, or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Oh, I can ask multiple questions. Okay, I didn't need to think that long on on the on the question then. That's kinda lame. Uh ever see Lily ever with see anyone? Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job. Sometimes, 
but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Damn, this is such a broken system. Do you know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Is Tara, this kind of a dangerous Brandy, place to work, Amber, Beauty? Heather, like, there are sorry. literal people going missing and dying. <laughs> like... Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me. So they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Ah, uh, Beast is gonna be so mad. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that Chapter I was five. If I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? <sighs> I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just a problem. You want me to lie? You never know. You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. This could make things harder for them. To the clerk or something. You'll she says that if she's, if I they've come after, if I'm they've asked. Me. Sorry. Well. I don't want to get are. approached with another question and have no time to think it through. Okay, now I do. I'll need to think about maybe adding snow. I mean, I'm sorry, beauty, because I. <sighs> I feel bad. If she's definitely tried to come talk to us before, then I'd this by putting her in the report, it's only going to mean that Beast is going to catch wind of it and then he's gonna come after us and her and stop her from, you know, doing this job and he's probably gonna work four jobs and then he's gonna then you know, it feels like he's the kind of guy that wants to work all the jobs and just take care of beauty. And I'm like, okay, well she wants to help. She might be making things worse, though, by trying to get loans from, like, you know, crime lords, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, this, there's a lot of weird sounds coming from <laughs> this room. <laughs> I shouldn't have just, I shouldn't have done that, but it, it let me do it. Let's knock. No, oh, wow, they are going at it. <laughs> Should I open the door? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I mean, what if someone's in there? <laughs> can't just go barging Please. in. Please. Please. <sighs> Fine. I don't think we need to go in there. Oh my god, it's actually happening. I kind of did it as like a joke. But I can actually go in here? Hey, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there was no Jesus point Christ. to doing that. You're gonna get me fired. There was I no point to job. doing that. That's so funny. Uh, sorry, I have a job to do. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, you should just apologize. I was just doing it for funsies. I'm so sorry, beauty. <laughs> All right. Okay, I don't need to look at everything I see. I'm I'm sorry. Open the door. Open this one the next. door. I really don't think I should. <laughs> She's, she really doesn't want to open any of the doors, and I don't blame her. I do not blame her at all. We really probably are putting Duty's job on the line here. Satisfied? So there was not any point this to opening them. This is going to them. take a lot longer. Remember, you're not even supposed to be up here. <laughs> Alright. This is the door we actually came to see. 
We should knock. Just in case. 207. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, She please. does, she does I have a type. I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other. Just <sighs> you got it wrong. I'm I on a case. This, this is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. Yeah, there was nothing we could say there. He's already in a rage. What is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not. <laughs> hey, faster! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! All Stop right. it! I knew you. Don't want to hurt you. Around. Don't do this. Just talk to your wife. Listen to your wife. Just calm down. And beast. Yeah, Belle's the only one that, that's able to calm the beast down. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Guess not. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. All right, I don't want I don't want Beauty to get the wrong idea about us either. Oh, again. All right. Leave it be. This is my fault. I don't know. He's... Uh, what would you like me to do in this situation? Just walk away from this? Like, how does one walk away from a, a total rage? You know, like... Big Beast Wolf Form is no... No joke. Holy cow. Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! Hit him again. I don't care. What? Come on! I make one decision. I can't be perfect. He came after us. Is no one going to no one going to acknowledge that? Oh. This? Yeah, it's what we were trying Big to tell B. you, dum dum. Did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back. You you don't want to see this. Hey, these these were the flowers. These were the flowers that were in her hand. Stay outside. Doors open now. Beauty, stay outside. Stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? Okay, okay. <gasps> or just walk right oh in. <laughs> just don't walk touch right anything. in. Is this? Is this? Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then. Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Who rented the room? Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Yeah, take your. I. Yeah, Baby, I don't even know what to say to him. <laughs> person could do something like this. That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. I didn't see them in the other rooms. Yeah, we have the flower. <laughs> From Lily's body. Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. There is something in the closet. We shouldn't even be in here. 
What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah, yeah that's kind of weird. Was Why she breathing? Is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? He likes people helpless. He's obsessed with death. How do we know it's a he? The bed matches the coffin. I think he made up the bed to match the yeah. coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have Connected had Lily lie down yeah. just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is creepy. The coffin and, and a weird fixation on snow. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Dude. I didn't think it was Ichabob. But what if it's Crane? Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I, I know I shouldn't be running theories. One, I don't think Crane was behind all of this stuff. But he does seem like a guy that would sleep with prostitutes a lot. Like, he just seems like a genuinely shady character, okay? And, uh, he did, when we were looking at Lily's body, he was very weird about the whole, like, oh, doesn't, you know, sleep, those, those drug tracks, can it, can't she be infected with anything? Like, it seems like he's God. kind of a frequent visitor. Maybe he's Mr. Smith? Hmm? It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. Hmm. There's the perfume <sighs> bottle as well. He brought wine. Classy. Poor girl. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I should make a whole short YouTube short about the phrase, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin anything. I just get so excited when I actually get, like, when I actually am onto something. I like to be right. Don't all women like to be right? I like to be right. I don't care. Just unbelievable. How else was he going to get all that? Rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh my god. What? What are you thinking? Does Crane have a weird fixation on Snow White? Looks like a snow costume. He likes it rough. He could be a cross-dresser. It looks this like a snow costume. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It fits. He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly. Georgie took here, advantage. We we can't really know. Person. She made her orange. Uh, we, we can't really know. Uh, yeah, Every we can't. Every situation is different. Every situation. Yeah. <sighs> she must have been so scared. I don't think that Crane killed her, but Crane probably liked this weird roleplay stuff. That That is super weird. I mean, like, how could you not know? It was the wine bottle, right? Maybe the wine, the Crane. massage, you know? Anything else you could tell me? You better not be hiding anything. How do I find out who rents how the rooms? How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. Anything else you could tell me? Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. I 
I don't think that the next answer is necessary. It's just kind of rude. Uh, do I need to? Do I need yeah, to say it to finish all this up? Strong. Oh, we have a cassette. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. We're gonna hear Crane's voice. Hello? <laughs> Game? Oh. Okay, that was weird. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. I think the apple's poisoned. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? With sleeping stuff. Looks like an apple from the book she was eating when he attacked. It's the apple in the obviously. It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow Story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. This creep put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Thanks. So he planned it all out. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Hmm. I think when he left the room, the killer came and killed her. Are those pictures of the dead girl? Who is this one? It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Someone is looking Trust at us me, in the mirror. I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my gosh, we finished the chapter? He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that. Disgusting weasel! And he was the one who knew about the black market. We knew that he knew. Oh, it's all making sense now. I, I just, I knew Crane was dirty and disgusting. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I don't trust him either. Hello, Big B. And I think I thought Twiddle D was and Twiddle Dum were working well, with I'll Crane because Crane kept trying to be like Twiddle D and Twiddle Dum are not involved. Jeez. It's clearly the woodcutter. Is that you? Interesting. You and twenty one percent of players sympathized with him. Well, now that I know that it's because he's got a Snow White fetish, I guess it all kind of makes sense. All of Crane's answers have made sense. Like, how he didn't want Snow White to go out and about. It's because he has, like, a fixation on her. How he knew about the black market, even though we didn't know about the black market. Why he's letting things go under the radar, because he's part of this broken system. How did you treat the murder suspect? You and 45% of players persuaded him to talk. Did you let Snow, obviously that was the right answer, always. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? <laughs> Who's Georgie Porgy? You and 19% of players didn't hit Georgie. 
Really? That is actually shocking. 19% of players didn't hit Georgie. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> what is wrong with the ones who did hit him? That's 81%, I think. Math's right. That's 81% of people who chose to hit him just on site. You crazy heads. Did you keep punching the beast when he was down? <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe I didn't hit Georgie, but yeah, I probably shouldn't have done this. You and 38% of players hit Beast a second time. Why does that matter, huh? Why does that matter? Wow. Very, very cool episode. Well, I mean, it was a little bit slower in the beginning, but uh, at the end, it, de de it definitely picked it up. The wine bottle was definitely weird. I was on the crane, but I don't think he's behind all these crazy murders. Hmm. You know what it could be? Someone's trying to expose the system for how it is, and be, uh, Snow White was constantly about, you know, oh, when people try to enter in through the front door of the system, you know, that's when people get screwed over, but when it's okay when Blackbeard, or sorry, Bluebeard enters the system from the back door, and we reward people by entering in the, by the, uh, through the wrong channels is what she was saying, so... You know, it could be a matter of people are upset uh, that the system is so broken. So I think it's a group of people that are in on this. And I don't know if anyone is truly... Okay, well, Lily's dead. We saw her body and everything. Uh, so I guess there are really there are really are times where people are just, you know, killed. Ugh, I don't know what to think. This is crazy. At least we got the crane stuff right. So we're going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of The Wolf Among Us. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking the, the video and, of course, subscribing to the channel. We post content every single day. It is grueling work, but it is so fulfilling and super humbling. Check out some of the other videos. We also have an entire comp series here in uh, Overwatch. If you do enjoy that game, trying to make things a little bit more interesting, a little bit more diverse. And then we also have all the other Let's Play series in the story playthrough. Um, RPGs playlist. So go ahead and click on those videos if you are interested in watching if this is your first time here. Thank you so much for clicking into my channel of all channels. Super awesome to have you here and I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed playing. For those who are already subscribed, thank you so much for the continued support and I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah.